I'm Zach Smith. I have a company called Dustpan. We do music production. I've been using a device called the Weiss DS1 compressor. When it came to sort of reevaluating two bus compression here at Dustpan, uh, we took all the units that we have here, like the Neve 33609 and the Jeff Dakey FET compressors, uh, the Tanner TG1. We tried them all and um, I just felt maybe there were some other things out there, so we got the Smart C2. And when I looked on Vintage King at the various options, there were a couple that I'd never heard and never seen. One, the Masalek and the Weiss DS1, which is digital, also listed as a master compressor. Curiosity got the best of us, and so we got those things in. And instantly with the DS1, we heard something really amazing. It's a digital compressor, so it does not use any of Pro Tools converters. Any of us who use a compressor on the 2Bus in a Pro Tools system or a other uh, DAW workstation are typically sending out of Pro Tools and returning to Pro Tools and converting to analog on both sides. We quickly found in comparing the Weiss to other compressors that other analog compressors were evaluating and processing audio pretty much at the same time. So for example, a transient hits the analog compressor, the detectors see it, but by the time the compressor reacts, the audio's already through. The Weiss has what is called look ahead, whereby it's detecting audio 200 milliseconds before the envelope is actually clamping onto it. And so even for a program material with a lot of dynamic, you're not getting any pumping. The result is a really transparent sound. Secondly, it has MIDI in. So for each of your uh, songs, each of your underscores, you know, every file can have sysx data so that the minute you open your file, as if it were a plug-in, the DS1 sets to that session. Um, so the speed element is stunning. It is a compressor, um, first and foremost, but a compressor that will do upward expansion, um, and a totally different function, DSing. Uh, a lot of people, especially in mastering, consider it the world-class DSer. For a long time, it had just a few basic presets, but this year, um, they added Bob Katz's uh, set of presets. This is the DS1 here, it's the Mark III version, which means that it takes it up from 48 to 96 um, sample rate, and adds the Bob Katz presets, and, uh, OS updates and so forth. What I would suggest to you, if you haven't heard it, or if you think that it's really constrained just for mastering use, call someone like Jeffrey at Vintage King, get him to send it over to you, take any mix you've got, and just run it through the factory soft setting. The Weiss is serving a different role than analog, um, which you can only find out through a trial.